This is Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zaproot. Did you ever have dreams of working long hours, drinking bad coffee, and busting low-life scum suckers that think they're above the law? Then the EPA might have a job for you. Check out their most wanted list. With nefarious characters like Larkin Baggett, who's allegedly charged with illegally dumping hazardous waste from the chocolate industry into the sewer system, he has skipped town before trial and is believed to be in Utah. Wait, crazy people in Utah? That's unheard of. Or this old Dennis Farron, who's charged with installing a secret drain pipe into the back of his copper smelting factory that dumped straight into the Mississippi River. He's believed to be in Belgium. Wait, crazy people in Belgium? That's unheard of. Wait, it is kind of unheard of. Well, check out this total d bag, William Morgan, who allegedly accepted 3.8 million pounds of toxic waste from companies like cyanide, arsenic, and cadmium with the idea that he'd properly dispose of it. Problem was, it was all a sham, and he just shipped it to warehouses and dumped it in landfills around the country. When indicted, he fled to Canada. Good to see some people are still escaping to Canada. This guy is old school. So, if you're in the mood to bust some perps, head over to The Daily Grain and check it out. There's a link in our show notes. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos, and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. And here's some of our favorite greenwashing campaigns. With these guys are full of shit. Check out this ad from Ford. That's a good question. We believe that it benefits the planet. The primary focus for my group has been developing biomaterials. There were many people that told us that it wasn't possible to put even a minute amount of soy into the sea cushions. They said they tried it and said it could not be done. We now meet all the specifications for good automotive foam. Yeah, we'll just throw some soy in the sea. Stupid hippies love that crap. The problem is, for every calorie that comes out of soy, many more calories of crude oil go in, in the form of transportation, processing, fertilizer, and pesticides. So you actually waste energy by turning the oil into soy and the soy into the seats. It would be more efficient to just do it the old way. And check out this ad from Chevron. Can you see it? It's here. 175 miles off the coast of Louisiana. It's your commute. Your flight to Phoenix. Your way of life. Here. More than 28,000 feet below the surface. In a place experts thought impossible to reach setting half a dozen world records for technological innovation without a single safety or environmental incident. This is the power of human energy. Hmm, that's strange. Chevron forgot to mention the panel of independent scientists that just confirmed that the damage to Ecuador's Amazon jungle by Chevron dumping 18 billion gallons of oil waste will cost $27 billion to clean up. The affected area is 1,700 square miles and houses about 30,000 people. Dr. Anne Mace, an expert in toxic spills, said, if this were in the US, the area would be considered unfit for human habitation and would be fenced off. Oh well, I guess it just slipped Chevron's mind that day. And finally, we're not the only ones slinging the greenwashing mud. Dell is crying foul over Apple's new ads, touting how green the new MacBooks are. This is the new MacBook. Its advanced aluminum and glass enclosure is completely recyclable. It's engineered to be so efficient, it runs on a quarter of the power of a single light bulb. And it's made without many of the harmful toxins found in other computers, like mercury. The new MacBooks, the world's greenest, family of notebooks. Bob Pearson, Dell's VP of Communities and Conversations, how do you get that job? Says, our view is that companies that choose to lead have an obligation to be open and transparent. What is not good is to skip steps, avoid dialogue, and pray that people aren't smart enough to figure it out. That doesn't help us, and it certainly doesn't help further the environmental cause to those who care deeply about it. Damn, you just got called out, son! The folks over at Clean Technica say that Dell leads Apple in the green department only slightly. This is due to their carbon neutral program. So Apple, I guess you just got b Thanks for watching and be sure to check us out at zabroot.com where you just might get b slapped. So much of the process of blogging is taking pre-existing pieces of media, like linking to something and then adding your idea on top of it. So I think a lot of stuff that happens in new media sort of comes out of that hip hop creative process. EPC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.